Welcome everybody to season 26 of CTL. Let's skip all the filler and cut right to the chase on everything you guys need to know about this season. First things first, like always, we do have a match reno set up for the prize pool. So if you'd like to help contribute, feel free to do so with match reno. Link is in the description below. As per the rules and how we're going to be running this season, like always, the top two players in each parallel division will automatically move on to the championship playoffs. However, this time around, we have two parallel divisions as opposed to the three we had last season. So in this instance, we have four wildcard spots. And these wildcard spots will be taken by the four best players of the entire season that did not qualify into the initial top two in their respective parallel divisions. So we'll be having four wildcard spots and four automatic playoff spots, bringing our total up to eight players into the championship playoffs for the season. Additionally, we have two auto relegation spots, one for each parallel division, as well as two relegation playoff spots. Once again, one for each division. So we could be seeing up to four players getting relegated this season. Same P sets are now mandatory. However, players can pick whether or not they want to increment the digits, the first two digits of the C that we provide at the beginning of the match, or if they'd rather have a reroll. So if they'd rather us completely reroll an entirely new seed every single game. If players can't decide whether or not they want an increment or a reroll, we will do a coin flip to determine that. So same thing we've been doing a couple of seasons ago is we've been allowing 19 starts now. However, in the regular season, players will both have to agree. So if one player wants 19 starts, but the other player doesn't, we'll be doing 18 starts. But uh, yeah, that's about it for the rules and everything you guys need to know. So I'm excited to see what this season has in store for us. Here we go! Let's kick off Season 26 Division 1 between Captain and Sodium. We'll count them down in 3, 2, 1, Tetris. All right. Let's go ahead and introduce our players over on the left. Sporting a PB of 1,479,000 points. A hybrid player out of the United States. It is Le Captain, also known as Somalian in some parts of the world. And the man on the right, who had to be separated from Alex Thatch after his match at CTWC. Source, I was the one separating them. With a PB of 2,108,000 points rolling. Out of the same country as Adam Irish, the Isle of Man. <laughs> I know you're not familiar. It's Sodium Overdose. And right now, Sodium is overdosing on points. He's got 53,000 point lead over the captain. The captain trying to bring the sport down, or a sodium rather, trying to bring the sport down. That T, that square's gonna hang, and he is done at 117,000 points. And immediately hides his embarrassment. Oh no. Is Captain going to be able to chase us down, though? He's about to hit that same drought if he hasn't hit it already. Oh, no, he's already past that drought. He's just got to bring this board down and survive. That's all Captain's got to do. Forgot to change into shorts. Oh. Understood. No, it's not. I don't think that's the. I don't think that's the issue. I think the issue is he tried to roll with his pants and lost grip or something. Captain's good. One, Tetris. All right. So this is the round of sixteen matchups. On one side of the stage was Alex Thatch and Sodium Overdose. On the other side, on in my area, this is on Classic Tetris Two, was. DMJ and Huffleupagus. 
first of all, Huff was freezing and he came up on stage and had this blanket and he was like putting this blanket over him and he was just, he was absolutely freezing, cold AF. And after, he was just having trouble keeping it on him. Like it was falling over everywhere and you know, he has, you know, he was putting it over his hand so you couldn't really see him rolling. You could see something. I'll leave it to the imagination what you think the producers saw. Um, but yeah, he was, uh, basically, they had a stage man come up while I was about to count them down for a game. And they are like, talking to Huff while I'm counting him down. I'm like, hold on, let's just hold off on the countdown. And Huff's agreeing to something. So the guy goes running off stage and he comes back on with, um, he comes back, he comes back on stage with a roll of duct tape. So he starts wrapping up Huff in his blanket, turning him basically into a blanket burrito. <laughs> it was the funniest thing. It was just like out of nowhere too. He didn't tell me anything was happening. I was ready to count them down for the next game. And I was like, hold on a second. So that happens. Meanwhile, Sodium and Alex, I remember that was a, a 3 0 for Alex. So at the end of the game, the two get up, and instead of the customary shaking of hands, of course, the, the, keep in mind the two are, you know, very friendly with each other and we're being silly. Um, Sodium kind of like mock pushes Alex Thatch. Of course, Alex Thatch being Alex Thatch, obliged and fell back as hard as he could into his chair. Except Alex lost his balance in the chair. <laughs> and Alex almost fell onto DMJ, who, by the way, was in level 29, but still playing against a, an active Huffleupagus in his game. So Alex is sitting there teetering on the chair for like two or three seconds. Time seems to freeze. I'm like, oh God, he's going to fall on DMJ. We're going to have to redo the match. There's going to be controversy. It's going to be crazy. But fortunately, Alex regains his uh, balance, gets up and starts roughhousing with Sodium. And then, <laughs> and then uh, Sodium kind of like does a mock push again. And Alex goes flying way back onto the, uh, uh, onto the floor. So I like, all right, that's enough. I get in and I separate the two of them out. And, you know, that was pretty much it. <laughs> Burrito guess sounds adorably comfy. It was it was a thing. It was hilarious. Like I get why he did it. it. Like the stage was cold. It was not a great place for players. Oh, it's such a dude. It's like it's memories like that that make the whole thing worth it, right? The whole going there and spending the weekend there. Oh, it was, so, it was so fun, man. Close match here, 402 for Sodium, 399 for Captain. As we are approaching that 100 line turn pretty quick. Four forty seven, four forty four. This is neck and neck. Yeah, it's just it's just so funny because like they were clearly being silly about it, but it almost resulted in disaster. <laughs> yeah, DMJ 132. It was so funny. We talked about it later and DMJ was like, I had no idea if I would have won that match if he actually fell on me. <laughs> and if you look at the CT2 stream at the time it happened too, you can see DMJ visibly react to it. Like he knew what was going on next to him and he couldn't stop playing. He kept playing, and now that he played, he didn't even miss drop or anything. Like, he kept playing, and it's 29. Like, he's playing at light speed, and there were no problems. It was, uh, it was crazy. We're about to hit level 19, about 20 lines here. Get our first transition of the season. The Tetris for Sodium. There's one for Captain, who's got a hole in row one. Looking to probably go to a 3-6 here. And we'll do just that. Very creative, too. I like that. Another Tetris for Captain. But Sodium has the lead for the moment. And he takes another Tetris. Great pace for Sodium. 608. 
Another Tetris for sodium. I'm 91. And we're in transition. 655 for sodium, 594 for captain. Level 19, and we're still going. Also, by the way, I have done nothing with this scene. It just now does the whole new Tetris flash. I think Yobi changed the default or something. And now I don't have to do anything. I love when I don't have to do things. Cap, I'm in a bit of trouble here. I had to get that five tap over. Does open the right side back up, but we'll get the Tetris. He's fine. And that is a tap, full on tap for Captain right now. Captain is a hybrid player. We'll switch from tap to rolling late in 27. Oh, misdrop there. You can see the reaction too. And he's going to top out. And Sodium going to tie it up. Let's go ahead and count him down in three, two, one. Tetris. Even Captain says they're not listening, little bro. <laughs> Lil bro, that's good. I love it. So game three here had an early top from Sodium to start game one. Then in game number two, Captain top it out in 19. So some quick games here to start the season. see a line spin here? No, we're going to see a T-Tuck instead from Sodium. Still had to burn a line, though. Gets that long bar in for the Tetris. Sets up the Vitz. We have any Vitz lovers in chat? No? Okay. Good. I was afraid for a second. There's the Vitz! <laughs> Tetris for sodium. Love is a strong word. <laughs> there are certainly Vitz lovers. And they'd use stronger words if they existed. <laughs> now the Tetris for sodium. 247. 166 for Captain. Another Tetris for Sodium. Sodium with an 80,000 point lead here in the early days of this level 18. Coffee kick! Thanks for the follow. Welcome in.
unoptional pants is actually just GG. <laughs> <laughs> Another Tetris for sodium 421. Looking at a upper 500k, possibly 600 pace, depending on how things go. Got him a bit behind that pace, down by 63,000 here at the turn. Let's go score another Tetris. We'll hit 380. Sodium at 444. Good looking boards from both players as we are headed towards this transition. There's a good key tech from Sodium there. Pull vault into a fit. How would you. Is that even a thing? Another Tetris for Captain 472. And another one, 495. There's a Tetris for Sodium. We're about to hit transition. One Tetris away. Sodium cup. Uh, long bar dependency there is going to have to burn into transition. 560 is going to be the scores. We are in a bit of a drought to start the transition. Oh, no. What? Sudden top out for Sodium 561 is the final. And Captain's getting the long bars at the right time. He just needs a Tetris. Five sixty-two chase down for Sodium or for uh, Captain rather. And triple awareness will do it. Captain's up two to one. Two, one, Tetris. But I tell you what here, a win here would go a long way towards convincing me to maybe make a change in uh, for the August Bowl. We'll have to see. Already up two to one. Could close this out now. Sodium, of course, he's been a mainstay on mine for a while, ever since winning the uh, tea party. For quite a long time in 2024, was the only person to have beaten Fractal in a set. Burrito Dad says, uh, it's calling for the throw here. Oh no. <laughs> Burrito Dad. <laughs> <laughs> oh man long drought again this one's going 30 oh my goodness sodium is fine look at the tetris but that square was scary for a second this board is he's not out of the woods yet He's going to score another Tetris, but now has to get rid of the holes in column one. And might have to make more. Well, hold on. I'm going to open that up as a long bar dependency. There we go. He's fine. Very scary. Yeah, when I submit my top 25, I've been putting the uh, top 25 in my Discord to... Just kind of like keep track of where the players are and i usually put some blurbs after their names and you know just to explain why they might have moved up or down that's something we don't get to do in the poll itself is explain our rankings i've been thinking of you know just blogging it every month but then that's all my blog would be because i never blog <laughs> it's like I used to do it, like, three times a week, and now I don't ever touch it for, like, months at a time. Yeah, there are power rankings in Classic Tetris. Oh, 
Oh, oh. didn't uh, sodium could have lifted that T to the left and had room for the next piece, but ended up having to take a burn. We'll get a Tetris there though. Captain's in the lead, two sixty six to two fifty four. He's also in the lead. The set two to one. I will point out that this season, Division One has an automatic relegation and a conditional relegation, meaning you have to play a playoff. Usually that translates to winning two or three matches means you will be fine, but you have to win those matches first. Salary caps for Tetris League? I mean... Bit early to start talking. No, I'm just saying what the relegations are and usually what will happen. You usually need to win two, sometimes three sets to avoid a, a double relegation league. In special cases, you can get away with only losing one set, but don't count on it. Another drought coming in. But that column nine Tetris does happen for Sodium. Katsuguri, thanks for the raid. Welcome in. Katsuguri putting up a fine wall in uh, Philadelphia this weekend. Good to see you playing live again. Kind of got bad bracket RNG, though. <laughs> What about me? I mean, you had a good fall. We're about to hit transition. Not quite as big of a transition game as we've had in the previous one, but, well, maybe it is for Captain. Captain's got a better one going on. This could be a 590 with a long bar, and there it is, 557 for Sodium. So, definitely a bit of a difference between the players as we are off and running on the level 19 speeds with a whole bunch of long bars. That's where they came, that's where they all went. All those long bars. How many did, what is, <laughs> I think we got like 15 long bars on 19 the heck <laughs> that's where they all went at least they got him <laughs> well then another tetra for sodium 696 for Captain, 665 for Sodium. Another Tetris. 807 for Captain and 780 for Sodium. Captain maintaining this lead. It's about a two Tetris pace lead. See if he can hold on to it here. Another drought coming in there. There's a long bar after 19. Oh, so uh, Captain's going to top out. Sodium's going to chase down. Needs 839. And we'll get it with that Tetris. The sodium is good. We're knotted up at two. Both players are ready, so let's go ahead and get counted down with the decider between the Somalian captain and Sodium Overdose. Who's going to win? We'll find out in three, two, one. Tetris. We will have one match after this. It might not happen immediately after this. But we're actually going to go all the way down to Division 4A. And enter the command with me, folks. 
Exclamation Mari. Dot dot. Taking on Blamp. Which actually I think will be pretty interesting to see how that goes. I'll be the opening match in that division. That is a very interesting division too. It's got Chris Hugh, it's got Lapis, it's got Melon Soda. Personally, I think would be a favorite over there. T and Rain. Got the frog. Man, he loves frogs, Tebanoku. And WT Suvia. All in 4A. Forgot to say hi to WD in uh, Pasadena. A lot of fun. Captain's got the lead in this one. 185 to 133. Twenty-two piece drought, twenty-three, and that'll be yet another twenty-plus piece drought. They've been pretty. They've been uh, pretty common. <laughs> and just as I say, we get an eighteen piece drought. What the heck? So three Tetris lead for Captain. We're about to hit the halfway point in level 18. 307 for the Captain, 235 for Sodium. This has been a strange match for sure. But see, no 29 yet. With these two players, that kind of surprises me. Even more so that it's a decider. Strange touch with Masters only in CTL, usually only in the playoffs. But I feel like CTL playoffs are just the weirdest thing. And for Exhibit A, I give you Gerald and Alex from season 25. Like, what the heck was that match? Sure, they had a great game one. It can be argued that game two didn't exist. It was that fast. They don't expect to see that in a high level match like, you know, CTL playoffs. And it's not like that CTL is like this rinky ding tournament. I mean, there was a $3,000 prize pool last season. So yeah, I was very surprised that that happened. Cap maintaining the lead. It's a little narrower. Only 50,000 points, but it's got 494 to Sodium's 443. Tetris players just want to have fun. Uh, um, Yes, they do. Ice burn there for Sodium. To score that Tetris. And Nuanda, thanks for the follow. Welcome in. We are in the middle of a hot decider between Captain and Sodium. And it's about to hit level 19. At this point, you put yourself in a situation where one mistake... Costs you three points. Don't want that to happen. Another Tetris for Captain. There's one for Sodium. Very nice pace here for Captain. Could be a 650. 
Sodium needs a long bar here. Not going to get one. 635 is going to be the transition for Captain. It'll be 564 for Sodium. 73,000 point lead. Here we go. Level 19. Level 19 has not been kind so far. And we'll see if the players are able to navigate it this time around. Or if we're going to stop short of 29 yet again. Another Tatris for Captain. There's one for Sodium. Another Tetris for Sodium. Sodium has brought this back to a one Tetris game. But Captain's going aggressive in the middle of a drought. We'll get the long bar, though. Bang Tetris, 731. There's one for Sodium. Keeping pace. Captain has to burn some lines here. This lead is gone. Bang Tetris for Sodium, 4,000 points. Another Tetris for Captain. Sodium having to take a burn there, so the lead is back to a Tetris for Captain. 793 to 763, level 23, with 173 lines. There's threes everywhere. It's all threes. Another Tetris for Sodium. There's one for Captain, 834. Bang Tetris, 825. 8,000 point lead for Captain. Can he hold it? Will Sodium make the comeback here? Bang Tetris for Captain. Another Tetris for Captain. That's a very good sequence there, and Sodium had to burn. Level 25. Max outs are coming. Another Tetris for the Captain. 960 into level 26. Oh, but this board for Captain not looking so great at the moment. Gonna have to bring this down. This is Sodium's opportunity to complete this comeback. Not just in the game, but the set, too. One Tetris difference. Captain is still burning, and it's going to be for a while. Bang Tetris for Sodium. 520-point lead for the Captain. But we'll get a dirty Tetris on 27 to take it back with the max out. There's the max for Sodium. 3,300 points. Captain having to do some burns. Sodium sport is playing the hang of the tee for the Captain. That might just do it. Sodium takes the lead on 28. But where's the bar? There's the bar. Bang Tetris Sodium. With the dagger. And I don't think there's anything the captain can do. There is no bar coming in time. Sodium is going to take it three games to two. Both players topping out on 28, but very good game. Good comeback. Here's your winner. Sodium overdose. G G. Oh, my God. 107 SPs. Let's see. There you go. Takes a triple there with 1.22, 1.25 for Scooty. A bit of trouble here. Takes a flat burn with a double. It's going to be cut straight. All level 32. It's going to be cut straight. Win for the long bar. That's a bit shrouded. Finally, gets a long for Tetris with 1.3. Gerald looking for center wall. Actually going to transfer his will to the right side. But it looks like it goes safe. Has about 60 lines to go before level 39. Has a lot of time still. But needs to not let go of the gas pedal. But Scooty is still.